I found this interesting. This headline about how apparently now jeans guys are, well, they're problematic now. Jeans. This, uh, these climate freaks. Scientists say that wearing jeans is bad for the environment. A study reveals that wearing a pair just once is the equivalent to driving a car for 6.4 miles. Hmm. Uh, what? Oh, yes, that's exactly. It's, uh, of course, it's a Chinese university of technology. Of course, because, you know, there isn't any interest in China and that China has in making you abandon, you know, all of your, your daily habits for a quote unquote green lifestyle. But they say that the genes has a significant impact on the environment. Do you know that uh, their cobalt mining probably does too, but they didn't do a study on that. Hmm. Weird. This is ironic. You have a communist nation that's trying to tell you that wearing jeans is problematic for the environment. Which I think is fascinating. I want to tell you this story. There was this, um, in, in Britain, there is this show. It's like a gardening show. And this, you know, older dude named Alan uh, Titchmarsh hosts it. And it's uh, Garden Secrets. It's on the, it's the BBC. And apparently it's one of the only things that uh, North Korea will actually air that is a foreign program. And they consider it, I guess, wholesome enough to air it on North Korean state TV. Because remember, they got one channel. And it's been running since 2022. But what's interesting is that this guy's pants have been blurred out. And if the blur wasn't blue, you would think that maybe they blurred it out because he was naked from the waist down or something. The reason that they that North Korean television blurred it out is because jeans are considered a symbol of U.S. imperialism, according to the North Korean government. Now, this is not the first time it's been thought that. North Korea has a major problem with the jeans because of what they symbolize. And they do symbolize not imperialism, but freedom. Freedom in finance, freedom in personal expression. And this goes all the way back to the early 80s in East Germany, where denim, where blue jeans was verboten. You weren't allowed. They had a whole socialist style guide. And blue jeans were not part of it. It was a very American thing. And even though that they, they uh, tried to stop it with uh, trade bans and uh, restrictions on what kind of clothing could be imported beyond the Iron Curtain, they were the most popular clothing item in Eastern Germany. And there's a reason why. And I was reading this photographer. He, wrote, he was taking some of the pictures there when the wall fell. And he, had, he himself had made note that particularly amongst the East Berliners, uh, everyone was in blue jeans. And they were in blue jeans for a reason. Because this was considered a very expensive item uh, beyond the Iron Curtain because it was banned. You know, because it was considered a, a, a form of Americanism, westernized, you know, western values, freedom. And, there was, and they all wore them. They all wore them when the wall was falling down. And so there are these pictures of all these teenagers and youth and even young adults and older adults that were sitting on the wall and they were all in jeans. And there's a reason for that. And they said that the, uh, the, the pants that they wanted everyone to wear was called the riveted trouser and it was pr produced by the East German Youth Fashion House. That's what they wanted everyone to wear. And uh, Levi's and Wranglers, uh, they were scarce and expensive. People would trade. They had all kinds of stuff. Uh, whenever people would go in to visit friends or family or if they did some kind of work in East Germany uh, or East Berlin, they would, they would, they would go and uh, they would smuggle in jeans and they could you know, sell them for quite a lot of money. And they bartered. They, they had a barter, not just for that, but for a lot of music and all of that stuff as well. But jeans were, it was, it, it was a symbol of power. It was a symbol of freedom. It was a symbol of emancipation on the other side of the Iron Curtain. And it, they, it was, it, it, they were a very free thing. And there's, there's several, I think there's actually a book on fashion uh, with, uh, related to uh, the Iron Curtain and the uh, Eastern Bloc and all of that. 
But it's fascinating because now you can uh, you can sort of understand because apparently they just noticed that North Korea started blurring out this guy's pants because they were jeans. Because they were jeans. This is one of the funniest things. It's one of the oddest things ever. But now you can see it. It it they don't they they don't want people to 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 see what he's wearing to see that symbol. But yeah, that was the big prized thing. And I just find that incredibly interesting, very coincidental that here you have North Korea short stack down there. They they want to ban jeans. They won't allow they don't allow jeans. They don't even allow them represented in a simple garden show. Just like they wouldn't allow them beyond the Iron Curtain. Because they had meaning. They meant something.